Game 3 took place the following day at Hopkinton High School Turf Fields on Tuesday, August 11th. The winner advances to the championship best of three series versus Marlboro. Here's a look at what happened. Bottom of the third inning, a scoreless game between Hopkinton and Framingham. Mike Bernie set to step in, the left fielder. The Amber Sony Sheamus do up this inning. Two base Nick Parja, who's pitching well so far. Up and the pitch, and this is going to be hit in the air over to right field, and it's caught. A leaping grab by Nick Spring, one away. Good catch there, set to deal, leg lift and the pitch. And this is chopped up the right side, slow roller, picked up by Parja, flip the first, and he'll get the out. Line up and the pitch, and that hit him. Sheamus is bored with two outs, and now Connor Kelly, the right fielder, will step in. Miller's have done a lot of damage this season with two outs. They have a runner at first and two outs right now. Swing and a miss. And the throw to second, not in time. Stolen base for Sheamus, that's his second steal of the game. Right up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air to left field, could be trouble. That'll get down for a base hit. Sheamus being waved around, and it's a one nothing Hiller's lead. An RBI single by Connor Kelly. Top of the fourth inning, a one nothing Hopkinton lead. Top of the order due up for Framingham. The amount of fans all around us on hand here this evening. Taking game three of this playoff series. Winner advances to the championship round against Marlboro. Took down Medway in two straight games to win the best of three. Cody Coleman, Luke Spring, Alexis Rivera do up. Line up and the pitch. And this is up the right side, loved by the second baseman throw over, not a problem. Four to three for out number one, that'll bring up Luke Spring. Set to deliver, swing and a miss, out number two. Fields, as the sun starts to set. And this is hit in the air over to center field and caught. Four out number three, one, two, three, they go to the bottom of the fourth, we go. Hopkinton leading Framingham one to nothing in game three of this best of three series on HCAM. Barja looks at first and delivers right back to Barja. Throw to second, they get one, and that's all they'll get. One to four out for the force so. out. Runner taking off as this is going to be fouled off, and they got the runner. So they get the strikeout and they get Dylan Locke on the steal attempt and that will retire the side. In the bottom of the fourth to the top of the fifth we go. Hopkinton leading one to nothing on H cam. Line up and the pitch and he got him runner taking off throw to second and they double them up. Gerber caught stealing and Nick Spring strikes out to wrap up the top of the fifth. To the bottom of the inning we go. Hopkinton leading Framingham one to nothing on H cam. He can pitch here. And he'll get a piece of this one up the left side. Love by the shortstop, he'll throw home, and it's in time. So they get the force out at home. Good awareness there by Rivera. Six to two, force out. Two away in the inning. Up to third, Amber Sony to second, Sheamus to first, and Connor Kelly to the plate. Lefty steps in, and he gives this one a whack, hit in the air, over to left center, and it is caught for the out, and that will retire the side in the bottom of the fifth. To the top of the sixth we go, Hillers leading Framingham, one to nothing on H cam. And the pitch, and this is hit in the air over to right field. That'll get down. The throw to first, is it in time? Yes! Wow! Nice throw there by Connor Kelly. He deals, and this is up the right side. Slow roller, gloved by the first baseman, and he'll run it over, step on the bag for out number two. Line up and the pitch. 
And this is chopped up the left side. Handled by Sheamus. Throw to first. Not a problem. One, two, three. They go. In the top of the sixth to the bottom of the inning we go. Hopkinton leading Framingham. One to nothing on H Cam. Spring set to deal. And this is hit in the air over to right field. That'll get down for a base hit. And keeping on going around first is Barker Hook to second base he goes. And did that get over the fence? That might have been a ground rule double. Oh no, they did collect it. But it is going to be a stand-up double for Alex Barker Hook to start off this bottom of the six. Jack Breslin to the plate. One and one count. Line up and the pitch, and he'll get a piece of this one over to right center it goes. Barker Hook is going to be held up at third. Runners on the corners for the Hillers. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to right center. And that'll get down for a hit. Being waved around is Barker Hook. He will score with ease. Following him is going to be Breslin. He will score with ease. The throw to third, not in time. It's a two RBI triple for Dylan Locke. The Hillers take a three to nothing lead on the two RBI triple by the catcher, Dylan Locke. Right up and the pitch, and that hit him right off the helmet. 1 1 pitch. And this is up the left side, past the glove of the third baseman, one into score. Here comes another run into score as John Waters will score as well. The throw down in time, the throw to second, and they will get Cam Jarrett. But credit Cam Jarrett with a two RBI single, and then thrown out trying to advance to second. And it's a five nothing lead for the Hillers. Top of the seventh inning, Framingham down to their final three outs. And Hopkinton has a nice five to nothing lead. John Waters in to try to close things out and send the Hillers to the championship round against Marlboro. Impressive stuff by Purpura. Swing and a miss, there's out number one. There's the 0-2. And this is hit in the air, right to the second baseman, two away. Waters deals, and it's a walk. Set to deliver, and the base runner taking off for second, and he will have the steal. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air, left side, glove by the shortstop, throw to first. Did he get him? No. So Rivera beats out the infield single and spring up to third. Framingham has a little something going here with two outs. Runners on the corners, Nate Thurber to the plate. And runner from first taking off, throw to second, off the mark. And now the runner from third gonna score. Well, a smooth move there by Framingham. They force the throw with Rivera taking off and send Spring home, and they are on the board. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike, throw to third, and the runner is safe. Second steal for Rivera. Set to deliver, and this is going to be up the left side, gloved by the shortstop, throw to first, in time, and the Hopkinton Hillers come away with the win in this game and the series win as they defeat Framingham 5-1. to one. Hopkinton has five runs on nine hits, no errors. Framingham one run on three hits and no errors. A tremendously well-pitched game by Vinnie Purpura. John Waters came in to close it out and the Hillers bats got going in the bottom of the six to add some security and take the series win over Framingham as they win game three, five to one. Hopkinton advances to take on Marlboro starting Thursday night right here at the Hopkinton High School turf fields. The Hopkinton Hillers senior Ruth team takes the five to one win 
and advances to the championship round versus Marlboro. And we caught up with a few members of the Hillers after the game. Tom Nappy here along with the winning pitcher of today's game. Vinny did great out there, pitched six solid innings. Uh, how does it feel to advance to the championship round, and how does it feel to get the win out there today? Um, it's awesome. Uh, it was a good game today. Excellent, and uh, the bats ended up coming through in that bottom of the sixth to give you guys a little insurance. Uh, that must have been nice to have those four runs going into that seventh. Yeah, that was big. That was, well, right when we got the reliever, we, we ripped him, so that was good. And how's it been playing with this group all season? Obviously, you couldn't play the high school season, but you guys pretty much got the team together for this senior Ruth season. Uh, it must be a lot of fun out there for you guys. Yeah, it's a blast, especially for like the seniors getting another season to play, so it's been awesome. We're here with Connor Kelly. Connor, you had a big hit out there today, and you guys get an impressive win against a good Framingham team, and off to the championship round you go. How does it feel to make it all the way to that championship round? Uh, you know, it feels great. A lot of these seniors missed out on their senior season. It's good to, you know, have them have a long ride in the playoffs. And how's it been to play with these guys? Obviously, the high school season was canceled, but you at least get to play some senior Ruth ball with uh, most of the members that would have been on the high school team. Uh, that must be nice. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's the good energy with playing young players, old players. Everyone mixes well. There's, there's good chemistry. It's been fun. And it must have felt good to have those four runs of insurance in the bottom of the sixth. Definitely, yeah. Johnny went out and shoved, and, you know, we win. So that's what we love to see. So you got Marlboro next. Do you have any thoughts about that team? Uh, we played them before. Uh, you know, they're a good team, but we're also a good team. You know, we just have to pitch well, hit well. Let's play Hiller baseball. We'll be good. All right, well, congratulations, and we look forward to the championship round. Thank you. All right, we are here uh, with... Coach Simos and the executive manager of the team, Scotty, uh, Scotty Mackin, joining us. Guys, uh, how are you, Scotty? How how was that watching that win out there? Mm, great. It was great. Well, Coach, uh, you took down a good Framingham team today. Nice win here today. Uh, how does it feel to be going to the championship round? It feels great because um, the seniors, you know, there was was kind of um, they didn't get a chance to. Um, to defend their Tri-Valley League and South Sectional title. So they made a commitment to try to uh, win a title here, and we got a chance now, which is really great. And uh, a great uh, start today by uh, Vinny Perpera. Could you talk about his performance? Excellent, yeah. So um, he was limited. I didn't want him to throw any more than 75. I would try to really protect their arms. And I was really uh, – I'm glad the kids hit at the end because taking them out uh, would have been – would have been more nerve-wracking, but I really trust Johnny. He's a really good pitcher, so um, he was outstanding today. They both were. And uh, obviously there was no spring season, but uh, it must feel nice to be on the field with pretty much everybody that you would have had for the spring season uh, playing some summer ball. Yeah, we had a class of 11 seniors. Uh, most of them are here. They're dribs and drabs. They're heading off to college, but uh, but they are the core of this team, and it's uh, it's been awesome. I don't even – I'm just a caretaker. Uh those, our senior captains kind of run the program now. They know what to expect. They, it's a great atmosphere with those guys. So, And you got uh, Marlboro coming up. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that team? Very good. Yeah, they're a lot of, lot of pitching. Um, we had two really close ball games with them. They're, I think they're the two-time defending champs. Um, so they're looking for a three-peat, and we're looking to unpeat them. So um, it should be good. It should be really good. Well, Coach, congratulations, and we're looking forward to the championship series. Thanks. Thank you.